What's up, everybody? Welcome to a WFSO reaction um, with the rumor that's going on right now that, um, well, besides the DeMarcus Cousins one that Ari did in the earlier video, but let me go to this article right here. So just give me a second here. It seems like Bucks are one of the few teams that would be interested with John Wall if he decides to leave the Rockets. Right now he's talking to the Rockets. It could be about him like having some like return to the Rockets and play. Or it could be, you know, checking on an update for a trade or whatever. So as y'all can see, like on here, there yeah, is Bucks, Clippers, and the Heat are interested in him. Well, let me before we yeah, they're still trying to find a trade partner and nothing has become fiction, fiction yet. So, okay, I thought they would have something that, um, you know, with the... Because I know, like, there's some teams that may want to make some parts and want to, you know, decide that they want to, like, make some trades, but some of them can't even do that with certain players they would want to trade, at least by... December 15th, I believe. So it'll be a few weeks away that they can probably, you know, make that run for like if they want to make a trade with somebody. And for some people that, you know, rushing to make trades, that's why they can't do it just yet because probably if they want a certain person, can't do it because that person's contract can't, you can't move that person's contract until December 15th. So, oh, yeah, um, before we go on with this, um, John Wall and how the Bucks can get him, which is right now is going to be, like, pretty hard. But um, with the DeMarcus Cousins situation, um, of course, y'all know it's one-year non-guaranteed contract. So they can, like, see, like, what they can do until Brook Lopez returns. So which right now there's no timetable on when he's going to return yet. But um, I'm just thinking that they should like keep him for the rest of the season if he does well, which I think he did. He did, he did solid when he was with Houston and plus with the Los Angeles Clippers last season. So I think he still would be all right, but he'd be good like a, defensive force, especially a good offensive force as well. So that would be interesting to see. Um, but while we do that, let's look at um, team one. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't update it yet. So, cause the Bucks is now 13 and eight. So they, Tied with the Hornets for fifth, and I know they got the um face. They're gonna face the Hornets this Wednesday, which I will do the video about today's game and um Friday's game. Um, is either you gonna have it already, or it'll be up like probably shortly after this one. So let's go to the Bucks. Let me see something. Oh, they do got 16 people in the roster. So it does some that's I guess that is kind of smarter than for saving like a roster spot. But you know what? Let's do that right now. So let's go to sign a free agent. Let's see if we can find the Marx's cousins on here. So at least we can have it, you know, like. Accurate. We know Dante DiVincenzo will be a free agent next season. We know that. But the thing with this is like they got free agents for this season and this coming off season. That's what most of them are is like free agents from this upcoming off season. And there are some teams that, you know, they're not. Oh, there he is.
Let's see. Do a standard contract. And it's just one year. Yeah, that would make some sense. And hopefully that works. Yep, there we go. So now the team is like have a full roster. So there we go. Always thought the Marcus cousin was like six foot eleven, but um. Anyways, let's look for Houston, which they're last in the um in the conference. But let's see how they can do this. Let's try it. Let's see. See if he's go to the Bucks. Um. Let's see what else. It is really tough. Let's see Semi OJ and let's just see that. Then I can get Tanasis playing time at the power fort. Let's see it be that. Rodney Hood. And which one thing they ain't gonna have no choice. They're gonna have to get rid of one of the big three if they want to do this trade, which I, like I was saying earlier, I seriously doubted that they're actually gonna do this trade, but let's just say what if. Um, Let's see. Like I have an idea, but I'm just saying let's choose um although they're adding like 44 million into it with John Wall's contract. Although, you know, oh well, yes, this season and next season left. Um, let's add some drag picks because I know that's probably one of the things that you know they're going to ask. Just let's just say they got their their first round pick back, and the Bucks will let's see. They give them a. Let me think, let me think, let me think. The second round pick of 2023. Let's just see if they do that. And try trade. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Right here, they won't be able to do the move until December 15th if I wanted to trade them, you know what I mean? Let's see, what else? They cannot, yeah, they cannot take his, um, that contract, so. Cut 1.5 million from the Bucks income and trade to make this trade successful. So that means I might have to add one more person. So let's adjust the trade. Let's see who will be. Oh, man. Q. 
Okay. Hope that this won't be cool, but this won't be the most popular trade, but Dante DiVincenzo seems like next season he'll be a free agent, so that'd be good for them to, like, if they want to, you know, let him go. And although he's still injured, but still, let's see if that works. Wait, still fail? Well, let's just say it did. Um, it did pass because let's just say it did. So we're going to click that out. That's probably the only reason they think they fell until currently has a team option. So although this trade said it failed, but I think like this trade right here will work. So no matter what um, it said fail on here, but that trade would work if they wait until, you know, the 15th or whatever. But yeah, and plus the Bucks get their first round pick back and they can get rid of their second round pick. So, and plus, uh, you know, the amount they're getting rid of. So like 38 million compared to, you know, 44 and plus the signing of DeMarcus Cousins. So I guess John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins get to play with each other again. That's if, you know, they do go for John Wall. But my personal opinion, they are not going to go for John Wall. They're good as is. And they just, you know, added DeMarcus Cousins for, you know, that backup center. But I don't know if they're going to start him or they're going to have him play back up to Bobby Porter's, but it will give, you know, have like Giannis play more at the power four or sometimes uh, Bobby Porter's play at the power four position. So either way, it's going to, um, either way is going to work out for them because they needed that backup center for so long. And, you know, like the crazy thing is, is like Brute Lopez comes back. They got their starting five. You got DeMarcus Cousin as a backup. And you got Bobby Portis as a backup. But there's a possibility if they want to go small and stuff. Like, they kind of are because with both DeMarcus Cousins and Bobby Portis both being, you know, 6'10", um, that will fit the mold for what they want to do with that goal with somewhat of a small ball lineup and – go from there so yeah i think it all will work out but i think we might do this again after you know that that's not what i wanted oh god stuff just always popping up but um we will try this again probably on the 15th or probably sometime later but we will see. But I think most likely with the signing of DeMarcus Cousins is a good idea. But like if John Wall, if they trying to get, you know, John Wall, they say they're interested, but if they do try to get him, um, they will have to part away with either Chris Milton or Drew Holiday, or they're gonna have Drew Holiday as shooting guard and And have you know maybe Jordan Nova and at the small fort, which would be good for them, or Pat Content at the small fort, wherever they decide to do with that um area. But yeah. So this will probably be the perfect trade for them to do. Um, although you know they taking seven million and Rockets are negative like We'll be saving like five million from this trade. But although it said fail, but I think it will like mainly like work out. But um, like I said, we're gonna do this again when you know December 15th comes around. So I'm gonna try to remind myself. Hopefully, I don't forget. But um, if you got like another trade scenario. Before um the 15th or whatever, post it up here. 
And I will probably would do the scenarios of your trade for um John Wall on to the Bucks. So um like this video, if you like the video, um subscribe to this channel. Um if you want to enter in our giveaway, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel. If you already subscribed, you're halfway there. And all you gotta do, all you gotta do if you already subscribe is comment. Comment on this video and other future videos until we get to 200 subscribers. We're at 159 right now, so I'm getting like a few, you know, subscribers as of late. So, which is a good thing. So we just need more. So y'all come on, subscribe if you like the Milwaukee Bucks and like me talk about pro wrestling. This is a channel for you. So hopefully you guys get to, you know, check us out. And also look for our past videos as well. So check those past videos out too. But until the next video, y'all have a good one. Peace.